Hello, everyone. I think we will be starting our webinar this time and still waiting for more people to join. I, I would first of all like to welcome everyone and to say thank you for joining us today. My name is Anna and I'm the um, Customer Success Manager at M2E Pro. In a bit, I will go through the agenda of our webinar and introduce our speakers today. And just wanted to quickly mention here that this is a series of webinars. So this is our first presentation today in collaboration with Amazon United Kingdom. So, yeah, um, while we're waiting for more people to join, I will do a little housekeeping before we get started and talk about in a few words of what topics we are covering today and who are the presenters. So we'll be talking about why to sell on Amazon and how this experience can help you grow your business. Uh, we'll have a couple of presentations uh, and three main parts of the webinar itself. And uh, the first part will be held by uh, Simon Donegan, I, who is the head of the seller services at Amazon UK. I, what I know about our presenter that having joined Amazon almost 10 years ago as a vendor manager in fashion, today Simon leads a team helping businesses to grow and expert around the world. I, Simon graduated from the University of Edinburgh with a degree in biology. And I know that Right now in his spare time, he's taking piano lessons. So that's something, something new. Um, the second part will be presented by my colleague Marina and myself. We will tell you more about M2E, what the solution is and how it can help you when selling on Amazon. And we will follow up with a Q&A session. And I would also um, invite you to post your questions, if you have any, throughout the presentations and throughout the webinar. Please post them in the chat um, box in your GoToWebinar application, or just, I believe, through the browser. And then we will get to the questions in the end during the Q&A session. We'll see uh, and try to cover as many as we can, both Simon and I. Um, okay, so I believe uh, without any further delay, um, here and now is Simon Donegan, the head of seller services from Amazon UK to talk about selling on Amazon Marketplace. Um, Simon? Hi there. Okay. Simon, I'm still, I think, passing there. Okay, hi everyone, and thanks a lot, Anna, for the introduction. Um, I, I don't think I have to introduce myself again, but um, I don't. Don't anyone worry that was that heard I was taking piano lessons. There won't be any musical accompaniment to 
today's presentation. Um, but, but listen, I've, I've been working in the marketplace business for the last five years. I've been at Amazon for 10 years, and uh, we've seen amazing growth. And I hope today uh, we can, uh, well, I can convince you that it's a great idea for your business to, to join Amazon Marketplace and come along for the ride. So here's my agenda for today. Uh, before I get into the nitty gritty of how uh, Marketplace works, I'm going to kick off by by setting what I hope will be what I hope will be some helpful context about Amazon uh, and why we have a why we have a marketplace. So our mission is to be Earth's most customer centric company, and we think we can best achieve our mission by focusing on three pillars that we know our customers care deeply about. Uh, and those three pillars are on the slide: their selection, value, and convenience. But we can and we don't achieve our mission uh, on our own. We we do it with the help of tens of thousands of businesses that sell through Amazon Marketplace in the UK and worldwide. We call these businesses sellers. And um, when we talk about being Earth's most customer-centric company, we aren't just talking about the people that buy products from our website. We also think of our sellers as our customers. And that's why over the last 16 years, we've been investing really heavily in creating and running reliable and, and scalable services that make it as easy as possible for businesses like yours to sell and grow with us. And that's whether you're a big established retailer or an individual that's, that's just starting out on their retail journey. So let me talk a little bit about the marketplace opportunity. And, and before I start, I want to talk through the basic concept of, of Amazon Marketplace. So it's a service that enables businesses of all sizes to list their products on Amazon with no listing fee alongside items that we sell ourselves as Amazon. Uh, and I talked in the last slide about Marketplace being essential for Amazon achieving its mission. And I wanted to share some of the facts and figures that really illustrate that. So the first one is, uh, and this may surprise you, but more than half of the total units sold through Amazon's websites worldwide last year didn't actually come from Amazon. They came from third-party businesses like yours. Uh, and coincidentally, 50% is also the number or the proportion of the products in our fulfillment centers across the UK that are owned by businesses just like yours. So half of the stock in our UK warehouses isn't Amazon's, it's, it's UK SMEs. Uh, we also know that uh, UK SMEs in 2017 generated £2.3 billion worth of exports through their Amazon Marketplace accounts. And that was uh, to Europe as well as other countries around the world. And that was a growth of 27% from 2016. And the same UK SMEs told us that, 85, uh, that they employ more than 85,000 people to help support their marketplace uh, sales. And the, the reason that Marketplace has been so successful for UK businesses is that, uh, is that they can use uh, our technology to access hundreds of millions of customers in the UK and worldwide in their own language and sell to them in their own currency. They can do it without major upfront capital costs. And, uh, and you can take advantage of our logistics network in, in many cases to provide customers with same day or next day delivery. Uh, and these are just some examples of the services on top of Marketplace that, that you guys can take advantage of. And I'm going to talk about a couple of them a bit later on in the presentation. Before I get into the nitty gritty of how Marketplace works and how you can sign up, I wanted to, to pause for a minute and talk about a program that's really important to understand as you think about building a business on Amazon. And for those that don't know, uh, Amazon Prime is a membership program where for £79 a year, the bargain price of £79 a year, members can access uh, thousands of, uh, well, many, many different benefits, um, including but not limited to uh, unlimited streaming or downloads of over 15,000 Prime video titles, access to tens of thousands of books in our Kindle lending library, unlimited photo storage, uh, and we even have an event called Prime Day every July where we offer deals on thousands of products exclusively to Prime members. Uh, but the most relevant benefit for your business is that uh, our Prime members get unlimited one-day delivery and increasingly ineligible postcodes to get same-day delivery across millions of, of eligible products on Amazon. 
Uh, and to give you some sense of scale of the program, uh, in 2017, more than 5 billion items worldwide were shipped with Prime. Uh, and more new members joined the Prime program than in any previous year. Um, so how is this relevant to you? Uh, as you might expect, Prime members, people that pay an annual uh, fee, spend a lot of money on Amazon, uh, but they also expect very high standards um, in terms of delivery and service. Um, and increasingly, uh, what we find is that customers, uh, Prime members, are filtering out search results on Amazon where there isn't a Prime offer and they can't get same day or next day delivery. So it's really important that you think about how you can access these high value customers, these Prime members, as you think about your Amazon Marketplace strategy. And I'm going to touch on a couple of options to do that later on in the presentation. Right, let's get into how Marketplace works. So I appreciate there's actually quite a lot of, or potentially quite a lot of people that are already selling on Amazon on the call. So I will go through this uh, quite quickly, but I'll give you some, some details on, on how you can get more information on this a bit later. Um, so for those that aren't already on Marketplace, I'm assuming that you're now incredibly excited about the opportunity uh, of selling. And uh, now I'm gonna walk you through um, the steps that you need to take to sell. Uh, so first of all, um, what you want to do is you set up uh, or you um, you start by registering with us, which is going to give you a personalized account on Amazon Seller Central. And Seller Central is an online tool that allows you to manage everything related to selling on Amazon from listing products to changing prices to managing your inventory right through to um, shipping products and communicating with customers after before and after orders um, have been placed. Uh, once you've registered, the next step is that you list the product that you want to sell. Uh, and you do this either by creating new product pages if you're selling items that aren't available for sale on Amazon, or you list on existing product pages. You then set your prices and you decide on your delivery options. So you can either ship orders yourself or Amazon takes care of it for you. And we'll talk a bit more in detail about that in the next couple of slides. Uh, how much does it cost is probably the first question that you have. And Amazon marketplace fees are predominantly a, a revenue share model. So what that means is that we take a percentage fee of the final price that the customer pays, including any shipping charges that you that you um, uh, have for your items. And this percentage ranges from seven percent to forty percent, depending on the product. Uh, depending on the product, but most products are charged at 15 percent and you can find the full fee schedule by by category if you go to services.amazon.co.uk and it's it's um you can see it selling on amazon and, and fees uh the fee is automatically deducted from uh your disbursements when you when you um uh when you get paid for for the orders that you make on amazon and the disbursements normally happen seven days after the transaction is completed. Uh, the only other fee, it is an optional fee, but uh, for, for you guys, I would recommend that you all set up a pro selling account, which is a 25 per month subscription fee. Uh, and that um, gives you a host of benefits um, that can be accessed on Seller Central, things like in-depth sales reporting and also uh, our Amazon selling coach, which actually sends tailored recommendations to you to maximize the performance of your account. So that's the basics. Now a little bit more on fulfillment options. Um, for us, deciding on how to deliver your products to customers is really, really important as it, as it does impact how quickly your business is likely to grow on Amazon. Uh, and this slide was quite busy. It lays out the three options that you can choose at the moment to fulfill orders to customers once you've made a sale through through Amazon. So just walking through it, starting at the top of the slide, that the merchant fulfilled option is where you as a seller take full responsibility for shipping to the customer. And you can use uh, the shipping options that you currently use on your own website or on other marketplaces, and you can customize your shipping settings by order, by product, uh, and by weight, and you can do that in Seller Central. Um, so for example, you can set a flat fee by uh, order, and then you can set additional fees depending on how heavy the product is, you know, but you've got to make sure that all of the details are correct within Seller Central so that we can calculate that 
uh, it correctly for you. Um, uh, so that's um, that's merchant fulfilled. The the other two options are um, are are recommended options, and you, you should pick one of the two. And we we talked a little bit earlier about the concept of prime customers getting unlimited one day delivery on an eligible product products, and these two options give you access to Amazon's world class logistics network. Which means that you too can offer your offer can can ensure that your offers are available uh, for nationwide one day delivery to prime customers um, and delivery that is as good as if Amazon itself was selling the product. Uh, so let's start with fulfillment by Amazon. So really simply, this is the middle part of the slide. Um, you the the first well you create a listing and then you send your stock into one of our fulfillment centers. Uh, we tell you which one, uh, but it's a, it's it's going to be in the country that you are um, that you're selling in. Uh, uh, then when you when there's an order, Amazon picks, packs, and ships the item, uh, and then we also take care of any delivery related customer service in the local language of the customer, and your delivery is fully insured, and we also take care of returns. Uh, so there are no minimum inventory requirements, um, so you don't need you can you can start with just one unit on one product. Uh, and FBA also, uh, fulfillment by Amazon, we shortened to FBA. Um, it's, it's also great for if you're planning on selling in, internationally, and I'll talk more about that later in the presentation. Um, FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, has been wildly successful uh, since, since it launched, and, and um, it's now used by millions of sellers around the world. Um, and to give you a sense of the, no the number of units we're shipping, in 2017 worldwide, we shipped more than 2 billion items to customers. Uh, using FBA. Um, so the third option is a relatively new option launched last year. It's called Seller Fulfill Prime. Uh, and this is where you uh, as a seller will hold stock in your own warehouse, um, but you'll still be able to fulfill orders with a one day delivery promise to prime customers using one of Amazon's approved carriers. Um, so, although the majority of products that, you, that you're likely to sell are going to be eligible for the program, it's particularly good for uh, seasonal or slow-moving products or, or those that require special preparation before shipping or, or even products that you're selling on multiple different sites and you don't have a lot of inventory of, so you, you wouldn't be comfortable sending that into one of our warehouses in case it sells on your own website or on, um, on one of the other um, channels that you're using. Um, there are some qualifications that are required for this um, program, though. So uh, you need to be able to pick quite quickly. So if a customer orders um, at any time before 1 p.m., it needs to be out of the door with our with one of our um, uh, uh, carriers um, uh, the same day. And um, and before we uh, will onboard you fully for the program and give you that prime badge. Uh, you'll need to ship a minimum of 50 orders with 100% on-time shipping. Uh, so this is, um, it's a great option. It, it does require that you've got relatively sophisticated logistics. Uh, if you don't have as sophisticated logistics, then fulfillment by Amazon is the option that I would go for. Um, in terms of uh, charges, so both um, fulfillment by Amazon and Seller Fulfill Prime are, are charged that what we think are competitive for our item rates. Um, because we take advantage of our own size to negotiate with carriers and we have our own carrier. Uh, uh, so as an example, the current price of a standard size parcel shipment through FBA in the UK is £1.79. Um, the, so the, the main charge will be um, a per item shipment fee. Uh, we also have for fulfillment by Amazon, we have a storage fee that's charged um, on your daily average volume measured in cubic feet. And we charge that monthly, so that's a, a bit of a mouthful. But the the more you have in fulfillment centers, and the longer it stays there, the more you'll get charged. Uh, but you, again, you can see the the fees for that on the services.amazon.co.uk website, and and um, they are they are relatively low. So I think it's seventy nine or ninety one pence per cubic feet per month, and it's prorated. So okay, so there's a lot of information there. So let me try and bring it to life. So let, Here's an example um, I want to talk through of a business that's used Marketplace and Fulfillment by Amazon to really scale. 
this is this is Helen Rolfe from Lente Designs, and she was working full time in London um, as a facilities manager, and she was living with her family in the English countryside in Buckinghamshire, and she decided that she wanted a business that. A, she felt passionate about, passionate about, and, and that B, that allowed her a much better work-life balance than you know commuting in and doing a job that she didn't really like. Um, so uh, she decided um, she set up a business where she is making, um, she's designing unique um, tablet and laptop cases, and uh, she started off on Amazon, was getting great results, uh, but was finding that as her biz her business grew. Uh, she and her husband Ash were working every evening, seven days a week for over a year, not only designing products but also picking and packing orders, um, which for her was great from a growth perspective, but certainly didn't give her the time that she wanted to spend with her kids and the work-life balance. And she said she was saying her house was bursting at the seams with product, where she was pushed to even find a chair to sit on or a table to eat at for dinner. That was how full of her house was of of, um, of all of her different products. Uh, so she knew something had to change. She reconsidered her logistics setup. She stopped picking and packing orders herself and and put everything that she was selling into fulfillment by Amazon uh, into FBA. And uh, she said that outsourcing her fulfillment um, using FBA not only increased her sales, but as she says in the slide, uh, it allowed her to hire staff and also allowed her to take some time out to go on holiday. Uh, for the first time um, in years. So another couple of examples of, of different types of sellers and how um, they've used Marketplace and, and also Fulfillment by Amazon. So on the right-hand side, uh, this is Sanjana, and she runs a company called Verdure Plus, um, and she sells over 220,000 units per year um, and uh, is growing her business across Europe by um, uh, using FBA and literally she runs her business out of her garage and I, I met her at an event a couple of months ago and she told me that one of her goals for 2018 was not to work past 3 p.m. and I think she's on track to do that because she's outsourced. Um, all of the all of the, the stuff that was taking up her time or logistics she's outsourced to us and she's using FBA. On the left hand side uh, Graham Menzies is, is the finance director of a company called Morph Suits who um, sell very unique fancy dress outfits, uh, and they're based up in Edinburgh. And I would um, I would search for more suits on Amazon just to have a look, because uh, they are very cool if you haven't heard about them before. Uh, so they distribute their products to retailers across the world, but as well as selling direct through Amazon. So it's a, it's a it's a larger, more complex business than the other two. Um, what uh, Graham says is Amazon accounts for 85% of their online sales, and, and as he says in the quote there, he um, used FBA and Amazon Marketplace to test other countries um, after they were inundated with requests from people on social media from all over the world, uh, and he was able to minimize the upfront capital costs they needed to, to spend and the risk that normally comes with an international launch by using by using FBA. Okay, so um, that's a whistle stop tour of marketplace and fulfillment options. I wanted to go into a couple of more details about other options to grow your business with marketplace. So um, these are options that you can that you can take on from the start, like literally as you set up your account you can you can do these but also if you if you've been selling on Amazon for a little while here's a couple of recommendations of things that, that I would uh, I would encourage you to try so the first one is Amazon business uh, so what is Amazon business um, first to give you some context we at Amazon are really excited about the opportunity uh, of selling to businesses uh, and that's because we know that B2B e-commerce is, is going increasingly online. So 63% of businesses are reporting an increased dig digitization of, of B2B sales. They're buying more stuff on the internet. Uh, and, and also the size of the opportunity is enormous. Uh, B2B e-commerce by some estimations is forecast to be double B2C by 2020. So double the size of business to customer worldwide. Um, so that's, that's a 6.7 trillion um, uh, dollar uh, market segment worldwide. 
So in, in 2017, we launched a brand new site on Amazon uh, dedicated to business customers, and we call it Amazon Business. Uh, and it differs from the main Amazon site, which I'll call the consumer site, so the differentiation is clear, uh, in, that, in that anyone... So anyone can buy from the Amazon consumer site, but but you have to be a registered business to buy from our Amazon business site. Uh, so what that means is that we we have a marketplace on Amazon business just like on the consumer website, um, but we uh, but it means that we can offer marketplace sellers or, or or marketplace sellers can offer a number of business specific features that aren't available on the main site. So um, these include the basics of selling to businesses, so things like XVAT pricing and automatic invoicing, but also things like volume discounts, specific pricing for, for businesses, and then we also offer um, tiered fees in certain categories, so um, examples being in office or consumer electronics. Uh, the more you sell, the, the, the lower the fee is. Um, and what's great about it is the sign-up process is really easy and it's free. Uh, so as soon as you've completed your setup for your marketplace account, you can literally tick a box in Seller Central to register for Amazon Business, and then you enroll in our VAT calculation service, which allows you to do the to do the XVAT pricing and, and the, the invoicing service that, that business customers are going to want and need. Um, and you can even sign up as a customer, right, and start buying your supplies from Amazon. Um, and we have a bunch of customer-specific um, uh, features such as approval workflows and uh, multi-user accounts and spend analytics and those kinds of things. So huge opportunity, get in there early. Uh, the second thing that I really highly recommend that you start thinking about from the moment you, you start selling on Amazon is exporting. Uh, so this slide should give you some uh, sense of how big the opportunity is. There, there's over 100 million unique visitors to our five European websites every month. Um, already, we know that six in ten of our UK-based businesses are, that are selling on Amazon Marketplace are exporting. Uh, and we've tried to make it as easy as possible, and it's as easy as easier than ever before, to start selling, particularly across Europe. Uh, you can literally activate your listings across our European marketplaces with a few clicks. You can manage all five marketplaces from a single Seller Central account. Uh, you can either synchronize pricing or you can set rules of, of differential pricing between marketplaces so that you don't need to, to go in and manage each one separately. And you can sync inventory levels very easily too. Uh, if you use fulfillment by Amazon, um, we can also take care of the logistics of sending products to overseas customers at a really competitive rate. Uh, and we also have a, a product that we launched last year, which is called Pan-European Fulfillment by Amazon. And this is where, um, if you send us stock into your local fulfillment center, uh, we use sort of complex algorithms to move it around Europe to make sure it's as close as possible to where we think it's going to sell. So that means that you can offer your products to uh, on one day or even same day delivery across five European marketplaces um, by only inbounding stock into your local fulfillment center. So um, again, there's a load of detail on this on the services.amazon page, um, and I'll we'll, we'll share some links about um, uh, details of these programs at the end. So the, the opportunity isn't just limited to Europe. So as Graham from MorphSuits pointed out, you know, he used Amazon to launch um, in the US and the Far East. Uh, we have, we're, we are opening up new countries all the time. So I'm sure you, you recently saw that, that we launched in Australia. Um, and, uh, and it bears repeating, uh, it's, it's been a pretty astounding figure to us, but UK based companies exported 2.3 billion pounds worth of uh, of products on their Amazon selling accounts last year uh, to customers all over the world. So a huge opportunity. Okay, just to wind up, uh, help resources. So I've gone through a lot of these concepts really quickly. Uh, please don't worry if you haven't understood everything or I haven't explained it clearly enough for you. There's some really great resources online um, that allow you to explore all of the things that I've talked about at your own pace and in more depth than, than I've been able to do. And, and the best place to start is Seller University. Um, this is uh, it's a 
it's basically a series of videos that serve as an online guide to selling on Amazon, and, and it's a series of step-by-step -step guides on um, things like setting up your accounts, uh, as well as um, different features that you can use to maximize sales. This is what it looks like, uh, or an early version of it looks like, um, and you can either access this through our Seller Central portal after you've registered your selling account, or you can um, you can go to our Seller UK Seller University YouTube channel, um, and literally you can find that just by searching Amazon Seller University UK on YouTube, and it comes up almost immediately. And you can and you can subscribe to the channel. The videos are between one and five minutes long. They're they're super. They're very well put together, very clear, and then there's there's links to additional data. And um, once you set up set up your, your your selling account, you can also make use of our powerful search and help page tools, and we've got loads of forums as well. So this, it's very unlikely that there's going to be a question that isn't answered on one of those forums. Okay, so last slide, uh, and in summary, these are the benefits that you'll get if you sign up on Marketplace. Uh, tens of thousands of UK businesses are already doing it. Uh, we really think it's a, it's, it is an opportunity for every single business that sells any product. Um, and, uh, and we can't wait for you to start with us. Thanks very much. Thank you, Simon. Um, that was quite a piece of information. And uh, I must say it was quite a lively presentation. I think Marina and I will try to keep the mood as lively as it was. And um, I will now um, share the screen with you. Okay, so we will now be moving on to the second part of our presentation in our webinar. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about what MTE Pro is, how it can help you when listing on Amazon, and we will also go into basic details and try to introduce you to even the interface of the extension and the basic process of how it works. Uh, as far as I know, there are people who have not used MTE before. For some of you, Magenta may also be a new platform, an e-commerce platform. So we'll be talking on that a little bit, and then by the end we'll summarize of uh, what we've covered. So I believe I'm going to give you a little bit of introduction and background about our solution, and then we'll go, as I mentioned, uh, into, basic into basic detail. So M2E is a Magenta-based multi-channel integration solution. You can even think of it as a data processing uh, layer installed on top of the Magenta platform. Or in other words, you can um, Think of Magenta as being simply used as the back office uh, where all the data is stored. So the platform always will remain the only point of data entry and data management, which significantly simplifies and makes the process safe. So what M2E Pro does is that it connects your products uh, from Magenta Catalog to the marketplace directly. And uh, if you do already sell on Amazon and you do already have the live listings with ranking and order history, there is absolutely no need to stop anything on the channel and release it losing their history. With m e you can just link your channel items to your product in Magenta catalog and continue managing them through the solution. As simple as it is, keeping Magenta the only backend system and the only true data source, you save time and resource uh, and, of course, reduce their 
data entry errors. All right, so moving on and looking at what is what you need to start selling and what you need to configure the extension in the first place. So mainly, as I was saying, Magenta remains the back office and M2E Pro pulls data from the catalog. So you will simply select the product which you want to sell on Amazon. You may group them for your convenience. You choose the way you want to manage their listings for product type or for pricing, for fulfillment. It's your choice to choose the way which suits you best and which you feel comfortable when you manage their inventory on multi-channel. You will specify the primary listing data, which is, first of all, the available quantity of the product, the price, uh, you may call them attributes. You save the settings as policies. We'll be talking about the policy-based approach in a few seconds, I believe. Um, we'll proudly explain what it is and why we prefer and promote this approach. And lastly, you configure the rules of automatic synchronization. And these are the ones that will be responsible for the automatic update of your data on the channel. So you are the one who choose when the product should be listed, when it should be automatically updated, when the price should be changed, when the item should be stopped. On the next slide, I will show you just a simple example of what the synchronization policy looks like and what these rules are. So you can see that very simple, this is the list of the fields which you save and by which you define when and which field has to be automatically updated on the channel. Now, we will get down to the idea of a policy and the policy-based approach which M2E Pro uses when sending information to the channel and when you manage it inside the extension. So in a few words, a policy is just a block of your listing settings, which you save and may use at any time that you need it. Why policy? Is because from our experience, it's been proved that it lets you be flexible, it lets you manage your listing settings faster. It allows you to have a strategy behind the way the products are updated. And of course, it lets you do their bulk updates of your items on the channel. At this time, I will invite my colleague, Marina, who is a configuration manager and the Amazon consultant at M2E and ask her to give you a little bit more details on what the policies look like and what you can do with them when you manage your items in MTE. Hi everyone, and uh, thank you for introducing me and inviting to be here today. So let me tell you about policies in detail. Uh, and we pro provides you with the necessary settings to set on Amazon. As I already mentioned, a policy is a group of settings that can be applied to your product. Uh, for example, rules for lease, release, revise, or stop are united in synchronization policy. Settings of price, quantity, and selling format. Configuration for product description and description policy accordingly. So let me talk about this in details. Uh, you can see the full list of settings in Salon Amazon configuration. 
please note that you are not limited to the number of configurations, so you can create as many as you need. Moreover, you are flexible, so you can assign these settings either to separate products or product groups in bulk. So let's have a look on how it works. I open a cell in format policy. And here I can see the block of settings for price and quantity for multiple items where it is used. For example, you are having sales period and intended product price must be lower by 10%. After saving the changes, synchronization will know where to start and update the product's information on Amazon automatically. So what we have here? Once you make the changes in settings that are assigned to multiple products, the changes will be automatically applied to all the items where it is used. So as you can see, that's really easy and convenient. Anna? Thank you, Marina. I can just add that I love it, the approach that we use. Uh, from my experience and from experience of other sellers, it's been uh, one of the most useful tools in M2E, which helps you run updates uh, without a need to go and manually pick product every time you need to change something. All right, so we will be moving on um, to the next part. And remember on the, one of the first slides, we had a full circle of communication between Magento, M2 and the channel. So right now we will stop and see what is actually possible when MTE communicates with Amazon and with their channel. I will first start mentioning that MTE Pro supports all of the European marketplaces and it will it also supports Amazon UK, Amazon US, Amazon Canada, and the newly introduced marketplace of Amazon Australia. So we are growing with their marketplaces and this is one of our priorities to stay updated uh, when there is a change uh, on the channel. With MTE, you can do pretty much everything when you sell on Amazon. If you sell the items which are already a part of Amazon catalog, you are welcome to search for their ASIN. You have a choice to do it automatically. You can always do it manually, but their automatic search will help you save lots and lots of time. You are welcome to create new ASINs in the catalog. If you are a brand registered or you sell under a private label, uh, there is no restriction for that uh, inside the extension. You will see how easy it is to keep the items updated in real time, like the basic and most important price and quantity will be updated the moment they are updated in Magento. This is, brings me back again to their idea that I mentioned at the very, very beginning when Magenta is used as the main and their only true data source. And the update of an item on the channel, of course, are, will be accurate. If the item goes to out of stock in your catalog, it means the extension will know that it has to be removed from sale on Amazon. All of this ha is happening in your extension and you can easily track what the behavior and the changes which the extension performs to your items. I think we'll now move on uh, and have an interesting introduction uh, to a process which takes place behind 
year since when there is an update in Magento and this update is expected to be seen on the channel. I will ask Marina to help me here and with this video show you what the process is. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, okay. Uh, so M2 Pro automatically det uh, detects all the changes, all the updates in Magento inventory and sends them to Amazon. So here you can see my Magento products listed on Amazon. I will open one of them. For instance, this one. And here is the block price. So this is the place where the data about product price is stored. And now I'm going to change the price. So for instance, that will be 1000. OK. So now I save the changes. M2 Pro sees, detects them, and based on the synchronization rules you set previously, sends them to Amazon. Now we can see a note, revise in progress. It means that the new price is being sent to the channel, to Amazon. In a few minutes, the price is updated both in M2E and accordingly on Amazon. We can also see the log price was successfully revised. This means that the price was updated on the channel real time. Logs also help you to analyze the performance and be informed about the actions that took place. As you can see, that's pretty easy. And what's convenient here is that once the changes or updates are made in your Magento product, M2E detects them and updates this information on Amazon immediately. Thanks. Um, quite a basic, I believe, and simple, but I think the example illustrates just perfectly the actual task that MT Pro does um, while you're um, working on the growth of your business. MT Pro does the manual job here. All right, uh, we are moving on and um, We'll be looking at another interesting tool, which we are also quite proud about. And um, I will just quickly summarize of what we've been talking and maybe mention uh, a few more details, which we missed. So to recap, I will mention that MG Pro can help you with just pretty much all their selling tasks that you have. You can list your products in the way you want them. You can customize the settings through their policies. You will have their offers definitely updated just because m Pro is the only native Magento solution and it perfectly detects the changes uh, in the catalog. And I we didn't talk about the sales import, but of course, this is an in integral part of their solution. And I will just say that the default synchronization brings in the sales from the channel into the extensions right after they are placed on Amazon. Going back to what Simon was uh, mentioning today as well, such Programs as Amazon Business, the Amazon Prime, these are the items where these are the programs that M2 Pro supports as well. And you do have an option to keep these items and sales also imported in your extension and created in Magento. So I think that was the basic description of. MT Pro performance, but last but not least, we will also talk about the service 
which we believe can help you not just be a seller on the channel, but also be one of the top sellers when you know that you are offering the most competitive prices among other merchants. All right, so MC Pro Amazon Repricing Service, this is their solution and their tool as well, a integrated in the extension, which we introduced over a year ago. And having hundreds of users now using the service, we've proved that it's actually something which will not just let you have the prices dynamically updated, but keep your business growing and let you have more time to think about the business and its management instead of tracking their pricing and changing their figures. Marina, I believe I will ask you to participate here with me and give a few slides and ideas about the repricing service and what the sellers can achieve with this. Okay, Anna, I will gladly tell you about that. Actually, you are absolutely right, because one of the most popular questions is how to organize the right moment uh, to the product price update. Um, well, I guess that sometimes it's beyond the human capabilities, especially if you have large inventory. But having your products efficiently priced by an automatic real-time M2 product pricing tool will let you stay among the most competitive sellers and what is more significantly increase your chances to win the buy box. So on the screen you can see the sample of the product which is handled by M2 product pricing tool. Uh, I would also like to mention that the repricing process is fully controlled by its flexible settings. Once you linked your MT Pro repricing service account with your Amazon one, you can just uh, predefine the rules. So you can see them here. Uh, you can predefine the rules according to which your uh, products will be handled by MT Pro repricing tool. After that, you will need to select the strategy that suits your business needs the most and add some more details. Also, M2 product pricing tool includes analytics that allows you to stay informed about price, performance, product summary, top competitors, and so on and so forth. So I guess that's uh, useful. I would also like to mention that M2 product pricing service is clear and easy to understand. So it will definitely help you to make your path to profitable sales on Amazon really easy. Thank you very much, Anna. All right, um, so yes, we've uh, covered the basics and the, uh, some, I would say, some of the tools that you can use with M2 Pro when you are just starting. And there are much, much more um, that you can as well develop when you grow and become a more and more professional seller. I believe um, we will be switching to the questions that you were posting during the presentations, and we'll see what we can cover and try to help you with their ideas which seem to be um, confusing probably to you. I will also invite you to send these questions after the webinar or contact their support if you have a chance or if there was anything that you still would like to know more about. I'm sure you will get answers through the emails um, to any of those that you post. All right, uh, I will invite Simon to join me here and we'll see what questions we have. So 
We'll start uh, with just a few at the top. The, number one, uh, can the listings be customized in M2E? Uh, edit titles, descriptions to be different from store data before, before publishing listings. Yes, definitely. That's, uh, I believe that's what we were trying to stress uh, on the question with the uh, policy-based approach. When you are setting up the uh, policy configurations, you always have a chance to pull their information about your product, either from the catalog or provide a custom value. So there is no limit to just stick to a particular field in your catalog but there is a choice if it's a predefined magenta attribute, if it's a custom attribute which you created specifically for Amazon, for example, or a different channel, or it's just a value that you can type in manually for this policy and save it and know that this one can be used to a group of products later or at a different time. So yes, their policies are very flexible and they let you customize the settings for the idea and their goal that you're trying to achieve at this time uh, of your sales. Okay, the next one. Um, I sell books and records and CDs in Amazon. Um, sorry, uh, is Amazon FBA any good for one-off and collectible items which may take a couple of years to sell despite the price? Simon, I believe I will invite you to uh, answer this one just because it's more related to your field. Sure, so I think, I think the question is, um, is Amazon FBA good for things that, that take a long time to sell? Uh, the answer to that is not really. Um, FBA is most suited for faster moving products. So I talked a little bit about the storage fee earlier on. So we do charge a storage fee uh, or for having items in our fulfillment center. And, and we actually have uh, an additional long-term storage fee. So if things are in our fulfillment center for, for, for more than six months, then the storage fee increases quite substantially. So the first answer is no. However, what I would say is that it is, um, it is possible to trial your products on FBA and remove them if, if it isn't selling quickly enough. And it costs 60 pence per unit to take a product out of, of FBA. Um, and you actually might be surprised about how quickly items will sell on Amazon versus other channels if you haven't tried it before. And you can actually monitor the number of views that your product is getting in the business reports in Seller Central so that you can see if something's getting a lot of views but not converting, then it might be a good idea to put it into fulfillment by Amazon to push it over the edge and sell it. So um, don't put everything in if you think it's going to take, if it's very, very specialized, but um, take an approach where you, you trial certain things based on the data that you're seeing. Um, and, you know, if you're willing to pay 60p to take it out, then, then absolutely go for it. The other thing to say, by the way, is that, is that Seller Fulfill Prime is, is another good solution for that, right? So you can hold that, that inventory in your own warehouse and you, you, you can still send it on Prime when the customer orders it. So that gets you around a long-term storage fee. So trial FBA, um, use Seller Fulfill Prime if you qualify. Okay, great. Um... All right, uh, there is another one to follow. Simon, I do believe you don't have to leave me here by myself because it's um, more related to your field again. Is it better to sell branded items in demand on Amazon or go down their private level route and bring a product over from China and brand it myself? Sure, so uh, branded items or own label. Okay, so, um, I've seen, or we have sellers that are doing very well with both models, and even sellers that mix the two. So some sellers that, that sell branded products, and they also have their own brand. 
Um, I've got some advice on both models. So for, for branded resellers to maximize your business, make sure you're buying from a reputable source. Um, uh, that's the first thing. Uh, and I'd also advise that um, to maximize your business that you uh, make your offers as competitive as possible. And on Amazon, that means using one of the prime fulfillment options that I've, that I've talked about before, like FBA or um, fulfillment by Amazon or self fulfill prime. And I'd also recommend using a repricing solution if you're comfortable doing that, um, or particularly on some of the most competitive items. So, you know, if you use Magento and you're comfortable using that, we've also got one um, that you can use on Amazon as well. Um, if you're bringing over private label products, uh, my advice would be to make sure, again, that it's high quality and it complies with all of the relevant British and European um, standards and, and that you've got evidence of it, right? So if it's a plug product, make sure it, it has the correct plug fitted to it and that it complies with the standards. If it's a toy, the same and, and you know, do your research and make sure that you're working with reputable factories and that they can provide the the um, various documents because we might ask you for them before we'll let you sell. Uh, and my strong advice would be to invest in creating your own brand and registering with us through the Amazon brand registry. Uh, so Amazon brand registry is a service which gives you much more control over your Amazon product pages uh, than if you were selling a generic product or a non-registered brand. And it, and it also makes it much easier to search and report um, instances of suspected intellectual property rights violations, right? So if you're spending a lot of time building up your, your Amazon account, make sure that you are protecting yourself by creating a brand. Um, so, so one of the things that you need to do before you'll get into brand registry is that you must have a registered trademark. Um, in the locale that you want to sell in. So that's in the form of a word mark or a figurative mark containing word elements. All of this stuff's on the brand registry website. Um, but, but register your trademark, sign up on brand registry, um, uh, and, uh, and you'll, you'll be able to build a, a, a much better uh, long-term business with us. Okay. Um, I believe I will cover another question here. And... Um, we hear it quite often. Why should I consider MT if I'm with another provider? Are, of course, there are like today in there on the market there are a number of uh, solutions to choose from, and we just know that we are the product which is different, and we do not compare ourselves to any other solution. We are proud of what we are, are developing and the service that we are providing. As I was mentioning at the very, very beginning, we are the uh, only native Magento solution and it minimizes the risk of you uh, having errors of entering data or losing data just because Magento is used and remains the only source of the data storage. Um, we do have a highly qualified team of developers who work with the solution only and have been doing it over 10 years now, going deeper and deeper into learning their Magento and their so channel, uh, the channels that we support. And the service of the support, um, of customer support, we are also building it up and we are working off improving it every day. I can just proudly say that um, we are now changing uh, the, uh, this, um, this direction in a way that we are trying to provide more and more uh, individually approached, individually approached, yeah, service, and we do offer the uh, service of configuration and um, personal uh, help. So that's something which can. That's what our team consists of, and in that, that's the product that we provide and build. So 
definitely we are the only of a kind and we know that the product we built and we support is worth it. So I have to thank everybody for joining us today, for staying with us for this hour. I hope a lot that the information was useful. I do also want to invite you to the webinars that will take place next week and in two weeks. And please send us your questions if you didn't have them answered during this webinar. I would also let you know that the record of the webinar is available and it will follow after the broadcasting is finished. And to finish up, I will also mention that there will be a questionnaire uh, which we would really like you to answer and send us back. We'll appreciate your participation and even cooperation with us. That's something for us to learn from and improve um, what we are doing. Thank you a lot, and you hope to see you in our other webinars as well. Bye.